Today I am here with a rather unusual panel. You might look at this and go, I wonder what make this is. But you probably wouldn't guess Steinway. Uh, but yes, this in fact is a Steinway piano. We've got some lovely piano music in the background uh, going on right now. Um, so this is the Steinway & Sons. If you come here and look, you'll see that indeed, it is a Steinway & Sons. There is their logo. It's a rather interesting uh, design. I guess perhaps it's one they used on uprights or it's one they used during the 40s. This piano was made in 1940 and that is the logo that they decided to use on this particular piano. Uh, I've, that's a version that I've never quite seen before. It's very thin, uh, very cool looking. So if we take a look at the inside of this piano here, this lid is very heavy and I've had my fingers in there so I could open it easily and they were absolutely crushing them. Uh, we can see here that everything appears to be original. The strings look in very good condition. The tuning pins have some natural tarnishing on them but nothing uh, abnormal. The hammers are in quite good condition. They've got some wear on them but they're not torn to shreds. And uh, it's very in good condition overall. It's pretty cool. Um, if we look here at the top, we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. It says Accelerated Action, patented October 13th, 1931, and then also again on 1936. Uh, diaphragmatic soundboard, and then the patent dates for that. A big stamp here, I guess this must be the serial number, uh, 3,333. And I assume that P is the model number. Or, down here in the corner, it says S1824. And maybe that is the model number. I am unfamiliar with this exact model of piano. So either of those could be the model. And also it's a Steinway right there on the frame. As you can see, there's also an embossed Steinway and Sons logo underneath the bass strings, which is kind of cool. So that's what the inside of this piano looks like. Another funny note I wanted to mention about this piano is there's hinges here on the music desk, but it doesn't go anywhere. It just, it opens about this much. And there it stops. You can't make it go anymore, otherwise it'll make nasty sounds. And it doesn't fold away and clip. There's a spring back there, but that's as far as it'll go. So I guess you just play with it, you bounce it. I don't really know what the hinges are there for, but it's kind of fun because the sound, the uh, music desk is boingy, and I've never seen that before on any other piano. So let me close that. As you can see, it has a very odd shape. The music desk folds in very nicely with that lid there. It's a very heavy lid, and the keyboard, the keypad kind of sticks out. Look at that. That's odd, I didn't even notice that, but the key bed kind of sticks out, especially when you look at it like this, it just kind of protrudes from the piano. When you compare that to a piano like this Yamaha sitting next to it, where the cheek block and the frame of the piano come out in line with the keys, and then you look back at this one, you'll see that it's a much different design. The cheek block doesn't extend all the way out, this side piece doesn't extend all the way out, it just kind of protrudes. It also has a neat design down here with the legs, they're very fancy, and uh, it has a funny little platform that the legs connect to. It looks quite sturdy, I'd say, it's very sturdy. Indeed. There is a uh, panel here that you can take off to look at the strings down here. Let's see if how easy this comes out. Very easily. And there is the inside of the uh, piano. The harp is painted black. I never knew Steinway did that. Of course, we all know the Steinway gold uh, uh, harp color, but apparently they did black at some point as well. These are the controls for the two pedals. We've got uh, left front and right front. How interesting. I guess that's because this one goes off to the left and this one goes off to the right. I find it funny that the the left pedal actually controls the one that goes to the right and the right pedal actually controls the one that goes to the left. So I hope you find that interesting. I'm going to put this piece back on. Uh, there should be little dowels down there that slide into those holes. Something like that. It needs to come out more my way. There we go. And then it will... Slide back, back in. It's got the spring here, and it's supposed to make that noise. A lot of the times, the lids on pianos will do s the same exact thing. You can see there's a spring here. You lift it up, and then that piece comes forward, and then to slide it back in, it snaps down, and it makes that loud, scary sound. But it's completely normal. Another cool thing about this piano is it actually has ivory keys, which is pretty cool. Everybody loves ivory keys on pianos. Of course, today they're illegal, but ivory keys help absorb sweat on your fingers, and they really stick to them, which is very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bench real quick, because there is none, and then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to play a small little melody that I wrote specifically for testing out pianos like this one. It goes in the treble and it goes in the bass, and it's a pretty good test of the piano. So let me go do that, and I'll be right back, and I'll play that for you. So now let's play some music on this piano. I've got a bench now.
as you can hear, this piano has a bit of a bright sound, but to me it's a very pleasant sound. It's not like the annoying type of bright that you can sometimes hear in a piano. It's a very pleasant sound, and the whole piano is consistently that way, and it has a relatively nice sound. I kind of like it. It's pretty unique in any way, because it's a Steinway, but yet it's a small 45-inch, uh, roughly, uh, upright piano, and those aren't very common. I think there's an even shorter one right here that has the same exact style of the... Uh, the, the uh, keyboard coming out a little bit. It's kind of cool. I might do a separate video on that one if that's interesting. So hopefully you've enjoyed this piano, uh, this video, not a piano, a video of a piano. And uh, you can go check out my channel. I've got lots of videos of pianos, and maybe I should start calling them pianos from now on. I don't know. And uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, you can go check out my channel. And um, if you want to subscribe, you can do that. And thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. The things you see in Texas, right across the freeway from the wonderful Cadillac Ranch is a rather creepy looking sign right behind me. It says Bates Motel, each room with a shower, also taxidermy ahead. And for those of you who don't know, Bates Motel was an Alfred Hitchcock movie where a lady actually got murdered in the shower, so I don't know if this sign is a joke or if there's actually a hotel down this road, but I don't want to find out. <laughs>